Welcome back to Steel Crew. This is the third video in my three-part series of the Sherman Firefly here in Steel Crew. Last two videos, the first one we covered the driver's seat. This video we cover or previous video we covered the gunner's seat. Today, in this video, we're covering the commander's seat. The commander's seat is very important even though you don't have any real control. The commander kind of coordinates and decides what the tank is going to be doing. Uh, the commander also has the ability to where is it? There it is. View the map. We can see we are that little green tank there. We have three objective points here. And we have all of our tickets up here for both sides. The kind of overview of the commander. We are we have probably the best field of view anywhere. We can just completely turn our whole chair around. As you can hear on the microphone is not following my voice because I'm not moving my mic with me. We can watch the back of the tank while reversing. We can look over there. We don't have binoculars yet, but they're, they're coming. Well, they, they might be coming. It'd be nice to have them. It's one of those things that people have talked about. Um, our real only control that we have here in this view is we can go into the inside of the turret. Now, inside the turret, you have these viewports. Now, you, when you're buttoned up and you're clo all locked up, you're nice and safe. You can still see. You can look around these viewports. You can angle and kind of get a good view. You can still see completely around the, the vehicle and do your combat. And if we had a gunner, we could we, we could see him here, and we could even look down there and see our driver. Now, one of the other things that the, the only other real thing that the commander can do is they can call in an airstrike. Now, it's going to depend on how you're. Your throttle stick or your your throttle sticks, your uh, VR sticks are set up. But let's, what you're gonna do is you're gonna press whatever button it is, and you're gonna get this red circle, a red ball, this red sphere. Praise the orb, as they would say in Squad. And you can move it around pretty much anywhere that you can see. You can put it. And let's just call it in on those rocks. Let's say those rocks are a tank. Now what's gonna happen is an airstrike is gonna come in, and it's gonna come in from any angle, and it's gonna drop. Well, it's not going to drop bombs, but it's going to machine gun any enemy tanks that are in that area. Man, this game does look amazing. For early, for early access, or not early access, early alpha, like it says right there in the corner, this game looks fantastic. Now, when you call in that airstrike... Any tank within so many meters of that circle that you pl pl uh, place, that plane will automatically target and fire. So if you think there's some tanks on the other side of that hill, you can call in that airstrike, and it will shoot at them. And there's the airstrike. And it's just a simple little model of a plane flies by and does some machine gunning. The machine gunning can injure crew members and do damage to the tank. Suggestion to the devs. I would love to see... So we have this little bar right here that's a timer. I'd love to see more options for air, uh, for calling in strikes like that. Like, maybe have a second option we could toggle between an airstrike with a plane and that does a little bit of damage but very accurately, or a second one that maybe has a lot longer timer that does a lot of damage but super inaccurate that's just an artillery strike that we just rain artillery shells down on somebody think um the artillery strike in war thunder or something like that or even the artillery strike in steel beasts anyways that's for another video that's just that's just me putting some more content uh, filler into this video if you watched thank you uh, i will do a series in a couple of days after recording this covering the t-34 in steel crew thanks for watching catch you guys later